welcome to my channel. My name's Courtney. I'm new to YouTube. Um, during this like coronavirus epidemic going on, I decided why not pick up this hobby that I've always wanted to start. Um, so yeah, today's video is going to be about how I got pregnant. I feel like I kind of just like stopped posting and stuff like that. And a lot of people were just like, what happened to you? <laughs> so I decided to start my channel off of how I got pregnant because it's the most current thing that's going on in my life and what I'm dealing with. I'm currently 31 weeks, pretty big, I like nine weeks old. So I wanted to share how I got pregnant. It's kind of a crazy story. So it all started like last year in 2019 when me and my best friend got invited by our friend Mo to go to a birthday party. And I remember there was an open seat next to this guy. And so I sat next to him, introduced myself, and we like talked for like 20 minutes and we exchanged like social media. And then like, I think he tried to hit me up the next day, but I wasn't really having it. I think I was just like kind of doing my own thing, whatever. And so then like a few weeks later, he ended up coming up to my job. And so then I was like, oh, okay, who's this? Let me like, you know, figure out who this is. I really started to like him or whatever. And then I think it was like in July, two weeks after this, his friend and my best friend Haley ended up like having a joint birthday party at a penthouse. We just like hit it off and started hanging out every day after. Um, so me being 31 weeks now, looking back, I got pregnant like two weeks of us like, you know, really starting to hang out, which is so crazy. I remember my boobs have grown like a lot. That was like one of the first things that I noticed. And I remember like I took a picture and I was like, hey Haley, like, maybe I don't need a boob job anymore. Like, I think I'm finally hitting puberty or something. Like I'm becoming a woman. Like, look at this. Like I compared like pictures from like two weeks prior. And she was like, dang girl. So that was like the first like sign that I actually had. So it kind of just sat back in the back of my head. And then like the day later, Nick was like, hey, you know, aren't you supposed to be starting your period anytime soon? And for me, I kind of just like let it go because I never really tracked my periods because they were always so irregular. And I was truly convinced that I couldn't get pregnant. And I know that's so cliche to say, but it's the truth. He like runs in my family and I don't know, I just thought I got that curse. <laughs> Not true, obviously. So then I remember like a day or two later, it was like on a Sunday and it was a Cowboys game. We're having like lasagna and we were drinking or whatever. And I had like two beers and I was like so sick. And I remember like curled up next to him and I was like really fatigued and I was so sick. So he ended up leaving cause I didn't want him to be around me when I was like throwing up and like, you know, really sick or whatever. So he ended up leaving and I like slept the entire day next day. And I didn't think anything of it at this point because I had a lot of health problems in the past where like I had low iron and I was anemic. So that fatigued feeling I have felt multiple times. So sure enough, I was fine the next day and I was at my mom's house and my mom's boyfriend was like, hey, I really think you're pregnant. Like you should go get a test just to, you know, make sure. So I was like, okay, like I'll prove you wrong. And I went to the Dollar Tree and bought two little dollar pregnancy tests, came back and I took them. And I like went back five minutes later and for sure, like I was pregnant. And I remember like falling to the floor and I was just like crying. Like I just like thought my whole life was over and my mom and Tommy, that's his name. They were super excited. And I'm like over here thinking like the world's gonna end. Like not only am I like pregnant by somebody that I don't know and <laughs> two weeks of us knowing, I have no idea what he's gonna say, how he's gonna feel or react, like, you know. And then like for me, I had just like figured out what I wanted to do with my life. You know, I wanted to pursue fitness and health. And you know, I was in college and I'm 21 years old, about to be 22. like this couldn't have happened at the worst time so later that day at this point like nick and i like we hung out every single day after he got off work and he was also moving into an apartment so i remember him like telling me hey i'm gonna pick you up i'm on my way um we're gonna go look at furniture for my apartment and so i was like oh my gosh like i was really contemplating whether or not like i should tell him like after he moves into his apartment so he can enjoy you know moving in it's exciting or if i should drop the bomb on him <laughs> So knowing me, like when there's something like wrong with me, like you can just like tell, you know? So I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to hide it when like that was the only thing on my mind all day. So I ended up getting the pregnancy test put inside like a little box inside of a bag with like a little gift, like it was a real present. Um, 
so he had pulled up outside he was like hey they're about to close like jump in real quick and I was like no wait like I have something for you you should come in real quick he was like no like you know he could tell something was kind of weird I think um but I was like yeah I ended up getting him to come inside and for like 20 minutes he thought I was like totally joking like playing some like messed up joke about you know having a fake pregnancy or something so he called my friend Aaron <laughs> and Aaron was like dude that's the same one that I used and then I remember him like just sitting down putting his hands on his head and he sat there and like I'm just like oh my gosh like what's he gonna say I just didn't know and so he ended up like looking up at me and he was like you know okay you know no abortions like it's not our place to take the baby's life you know ultimately it's up to you that he was going to be there and you know we were going to make it work so <laughs> truly truly blessed honestly to have him as my baby daddy and boyfriend now we like live together and we're like really happy um but yeah it was a crazy start to be honest <laughs> um so yeah i'm in my third try i'm 31 weeks right now um, I'm going to do another video that goes more in depth of my actual experience of being pregnant, um, like through each trimester, things that I ate, things that I did, how I worked out, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, overall, I've had like a perfect pregnancy, no swelling, no morning sickness, other than just being like tired. Sometimes I get insomnia. Now that I'm in my third try and super big, my back kind of hurts sometimes. Other than that, oh, and heartburn, heartburn's a thing. Other than that, I'm super excited to meet my baby girl so yeah that's my story of me being pregnant um hope you guys liked it i plan on like posting a video once a week probably at like seven o'clock on sundays but stay tuned